Well, in this week's Cardiology Countdown, we'll have two studies of aldosterone inhibition and a novel treatment that's going before the FDA for reduction of LDL cholesterol. So the number three pick is a phase three study looking at mepomersin, uh, an injectable agent that lowers LDL cholesterol by being an apolipoprotein B synthesis inhibitor. Um, this was a study of about 124 patients and found that uh, injections of mepomersin were able to reduce LDL cholesterol by 28% as compared with a 5% increase in the placebo group during the same period. Now, there were local site injections um, reactions as well as flu-like symptoms, um, but uh, in some patients, about 6% developed LFT abnormalities. Uh, but this looks like it's a new mechanism by which one could achieve LDL reductions. At the number two spot is a, um, a study that looks at the RALS uh, study, looking at uh, spironolactone in heart failure patients, and splits it by baseline renal function. And this has been one of the big fears of using aldosterone inhibitors, uh, fear of hyperkalemia and worsening uh, renal function. What was seen when splitting patients by creatinine clearance of 60 less or above was a similar relative benefit of about a third in the risk of death or of death and rehospitalization, uh, whether or not you had renal dysfunction. Now, more patients did develop hyperkalemia, about 25% versus uh, 6%, but only 6 versus 3% had to have a dose adjustment or, or that permanently stopped, and thus uh, transient, more mild episodes of hyperkalemia. But the absolute benefit was greater um, in the low uh, renal function group. And so trying to reaffirm that this is safe and actually potentially even more efficacious in, a, in an absolute sense for our patients. The top pick this week is also on aldosterone inhibition, looking at aplerinone in the Emphasis HF study. And this was in mild heart failure. And it looked at uh, prevention of rehospitalization that was significant in uh, the main trial, but also of the repeat rehospitalizations that have been so vexing for all of us. What was seen was added benefit of aldosterone inhibition on preventing second and third rehospitalizations with, if anything, slightly greater relative benefit, uh, with a 15% reduction in the first hospitalization for heart failure when adding a plurinone and a 23% reduction in subsequent hospitalizations. And so a novel way at looking at greater added benefit when looking at the total number of events that are prevented with ongoing pharmacotherapy. So for this week's Cardiology Countdown, I'm Chris Cannon.